what controls our focus controls our life. And everything's trying to get our focus all the time, right? Advertising's trying to get our focus, your phone's ringing, in your pocket it's buzzing, and that buzz is either your phone or it's an email or it's a text. There's this constant something trying to get control of our focus. But what you focus on determines your destiny in your life. So if you don't take control of it, somebody else will. If I don't finally get my focus in check, if I keep wandering around distracted, if I keep looking at every new thing that pops up, if I keep trying every single new opportunity, if I keep saying yes to everything, if I keep listening to everybody's complaints, and if I keep doing whatever they ask me to do, at some point, you'll lose your life. You can lose track of the long-term goal. It fades from your vision. It slips from your mind. But I don't accept that. I want that long-term goal to be so embedded in my mind that I never lose sight of it, ever. You need to have a mission for what you're doing today. You should figure out what is it you desire in life and figure out the steps to get there and start working a plan to get there and minimizing everything else. Getting very clear on the mission, very clear on the mission and working the plan. Everything else, guess what it gets? A no. Every day, do something that moves you toward that goal, that keeps that goal alive and in sight and in focus. However small or insignificant that step might seem, take it, do it, make it happen. Where will you be in your business and your life in 36 months? Not because you hope, because you decide. If there's something you once envisioned and now it's real, it's because you focused on it continuously, didn't you? When you focus on something continuously, something magical happens. You get insights, don't you? You overhear a conversation and you hear something you wouldn't have heard if you didn't have that outcome or goal that you wanted so badly. What are the things that are stealing your focus? Who are the people that are stealing your focus? And begin to eliminate these distractions. Get laser focused and obsessed on what you want. Be starving and hungry to get it. Be desperate to get it. The combination of desperation and hunger with laser focus over an extended period of time is the formula to be great at something. The question you want to ask yourself is what do I want? The target is not the activity. The activity can change. It's what's the result I'm after. Clarity is power. The more clear you are and specifically what you want, the faster your brain can get you there. Because your brain's like a servo mechanism in a missile. It locks on the heat signature, what does it do? It moves and follows it. That's the way your brain is if it knows the outcome, if it knows the result. You cannot accomplish what you have not focused on. If you're not focusing on it, it can't happen. You're so focused on everything else but you and you don't realize you. You are what's gonna blow you up. You are what's gonna change your situation. You, you are what's gonna take you to the next level. Stop focusing on four things at once and I need you to concentrate on one thing at a time. And most of you in this room, you can't give up six months. You can't give up eight months. You can't let stuff go for a few weeks. Like you can't let girls go. Some of you just can't let boys go. Some of you just can't let parties go. Let it go. If you want to be successful, if you want to dominate in the area, you got to let everything go but that thing you're pursuing. You can't chase two rabbits and catch both of them. So you put your attention on one and go after it. You got to stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused on the goal. Champions are focused on the goal. They don't have time to be doing stuff that's not going to help them toward the goal. We wake up and grind. Winners win. I focus on winning. Eye on the tiger. I want you to be so focused. I want you to be so concentrated that you block out all noise, that you block out all sound. You got to get to that point like you like that eagle. You know that eagle that's a hundred and some odd feet in the air and that eagle is flying around and all of a sudden it looks down in the Atlantic Ocean and it sees its prey and all of a sudden, bam! All that eagle does is one time, it brings out his wings. It shows his face toward where it's going. It puts his head down and boom, it dies down. It doesn't look to the right, it doesn't look to the left, it doesn't look up, it doesn't look further down. It looks straight at his prey and it goes bow, straight down into the Atlantic Ocean. Straight down, eyes focused, arms out steady and Bam! It scoops up its prey and it keeps on going. And I'm telling you, if you're going to blow up, if you're going to get to the next level, you got to stay focused. You got to learn how to concentrate. What makes a person average is their focus. 
And so what you're focusing on throughout the course of the day, it has to change. What you're looking at, what you're reading, what you're watching, the conversations you have. You must now be focused on your why and you must be focused on your dreams. You must be focused on your goals. When you are great, you don't focus on a week. When you are great, you don't focus on a month. When you are great, you don't focus on a year. I'm not saying the same thing wrong with planning, but what I'm talking about is you concentrate on the 24 hour that's in front of you and you nail it. I want you to focus on here right now. Don't you worry about when you get home. You concentrate on this opportunity. You don't worry about tomorrow. You concentrate on this opportunity with all your might, with all your soul, with all your heart. You focus on this and tomorrow will take care of itself. If you would just believe that your day coming, that the sacrifices you are making today, they gonna pay off. But if you do not believe, it ain't gonna happen. Where is the wealthiest place in the world? Do you know? It's the graveyard. Because in the graveyard, you will find inventions never invented. Business is never erected. Songs never sung, books never written, ideas never nurtured, people never realized. Because they never prioritized their dreams. They never made them important enough. The things that are the most important to you are the things that get done. I need you to reevaluate what you're prioritizing in your life. Are the things you're doing each day the things that are going to move you forward in life, lead you to a happier, healthier, more fulfilling life, or are you wandering around, distracted, caught up in the noise and chaos of social media, news, or what's happening around you? Your focus, your attention is a laser. And what you point that laser at is what will grow and increase. So I need you to focus on what you are focusing on. Be aware of how you are using your attention and direct it towards where you want to go in your life. You are where you are because of who you are. And if you're going to get somewhere else, you're gonna have to change something. I don't care what happens in your life. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care where you are. Every single day you wake up, if you're gonna have energy, if you're gonna have passion, if you're gonna have drive, every day you wake up, you gotta start with that vision. Every day when I wake up, people say, why are you so excited? Because I have a mental picture of where I wanna be. I have a mental picture of what I wanna do. And even when I was in an abandoned building, I saw that I would not be in an abandoned building forever. And I was homeless once, now I own two homes. Because although my circumstance was homeless, my vision wasn't. The first level to success in life, the very first level, is you seeing it. Like it's clear to you. You know exactly what you want. You know exactly when you want it. You know exactly what it tastes like. You know what it looked like. Before you really blow up, blow up, and you get success, you literally have it in the palm of your hand without having it. What does your dream look like? What does it smell like? What does it taste like? What do you want in your health? What do you want financially? Like, how much money do you want to make a year? How do you want to live? Stop just waking up like an accident. What do you want? And then once you find out what you want, spend the rest of your natural life waking up and going after it. Look at your belief system every single day and stick with it. Don't rush the process. Trust the process. Don't rush the process. Trust the process. Don't rush the process. Trust the process. Stop looking for affirmation. Stop looking for somebody to pat you on the back. And you just get up on Monday and grind. And get up on Tuesday and grind. And get up on Wednesday and grind. And get up on Thursday and grind. And get up on Friday and grind. And if you grind, no days off, no holidays, no snow days, no weekends off, no birthdays. You heard me. If you keep grinding and you stay persistent and you locked in, one day you're going to wake up and you're going to be exactly where you dream you be. Because it's easy to say, I want to be this, I want to do that. Hey, I want to be significant. Hey, I want my life to matter. Hey, I want to be a millionaire. Hey, I want to drive a fucking Lamborghini. But unless your actions on a daily basis reflect that goal every single time, every single move, every single fucking second that you're awake, your goals aren't really your goals. You're just full of shit. Because if you really want it, nothing would stop you. All of the silly things that happen that we let slow us down is related to our lack of hunger and desperation. 
So how desperate are you for what you want? Everybody wants to wait and put off the things they truly want in their lives for tomorrow, the mystical place where 99% of dreams go to die. It's, oh, well, you know what? I didn't get that much today. It's okay. I'll wait till tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be there. No, tomorrow isn't going to fucking be there. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Ain't no such thing as tomorrow. We only got today. What I've learned about the greats is that they understand it's a sense of urgency that once the clock goes out, it's a W or an L. You either win or you lose. There's a sense of urgency. You don't have as much time as you think you do. And so you got to pick up the pace. You walking too slow. Pick up the pace. You moving too slow. Pick up the pace. You don't have a lot of time. You only got 24 hours. So all of your energy needs to go into your goal. Why? Because I love myself too much to get distracted. I love myself too much not to execute. But I need you to stop just randomly letting stuff happen to you. And I need you to take over your life. And a schedule is about bossing your time. The secret is to make a plan, execute the plan, come obsessed with the plan, and make it your entire life from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed for 20 fucking years. It takes dedication, it takes time, it takes effort, it takes obsessive, ridiculous amounts of effort. I get sick and tired of people telling me how bad they want it, yet their actions don't back up that statement. Don't be somebody who talks shit. Be somebody who does shit. The price you will pay, the suffering you will go through to make your dream come true is incredibly small than the price you will pay if you never do. You'll pay that one the rest of your life. Ask yourself what you're willing to risk. What's the price you're willing to pay? Because what most people do when they're trying to chase their dream or their big outcome, the whole time they're negotiating the price in their head. Should I continue to do it? Is it worth it? I don't know if I can continue anymore. It's getting higher and that price is failure. That price is setback. That price is looking back. That price can be financial, literally a physical price. Is it getting too high? Is it too much? And you'll have people in your ear, it's too big a sacrifice. You're going through too much. And you begin to negotiate it in your mind. It distracts all your focus. You can't be executing and negotiating simultaneously. If you're in your head negotiating and negotiating and negotiating, you can't execute. So negotiate it now. Negotiate it with me now. What are you willing to pay? For me, when I'm after something big, I'm gonna get it. And I know that negotiation comes up front. I accept the suffering. I accept the sacrifice. I know the sacrifice is far smaller than the one I'll pay if I don't do it. And I eliminate distractions and I go freaking get what I want in my life just like you can. And this needs to be your recipe as well. Do expect, based upon your performance, based upon what you produce at this point in time in your life, do you expect to be successful? Do you want to be successful? Do you want to live a life of productivity? Are there dreams you want? Everybody will say yes. But see, want shows up in conversation. Expectation shows up in behavior. See, I can tell what you expect by what you do. Judge a tree by the fruit it bears. Not the fruit that it wants. Not the fruit that it talks about. Not the fruit that it claims but by what you are doing. See, what you do when you leave here, when the music stops, when the shouting dies down, your behavior, how you conduct yourself, writing your goals down, deciding to enroll in school to get a GED, deciding to sit into class with children young enough to be your grandchildren, decide to find some product, some idea, some service that you can provide so that you can begin to create some value for yourself so you can create wealth. If dreams were easy, everybody would make them happen. The problem is that most people, they like, they can't get up in the morning. They ain't got no energy. They don't got the energy to keep up with me. I'm like, boo, ain't nothing wrong with you. You just ain't got the stamina. You just ain't got the energy. You can't smart everything. You can't outthink everything. You can't, some stuff is just, you gotta be powerful. It's just some stuff that you gotta have stamina for. You just too slow. It just take you too long. You wake up, take you three weeks to do what it can take 24 hours to do. It don't make you a bad person, but you're gonna forever be average because to be great, you got to keep up. I'm obsessed with improvement. Every day I'm getting better. This is the only opportunity I got. Every single day I gotta lose myself in this moment. As we begin to focus on developing ourselves, as we begin to elevate ourselves and not to follow the crowd, activating the thinker in us and disciplining and putting on hold the emotional part of ourselves. It's not easy, but through practice and practice and practice, practice makes improvement. You can always better your best. You can always go beyond anything that you have ever done. 
You're never hit a state of perfection. You're always bigger than what you do. And so all you're looking for are new breakthroughs through practice and practice and practice. You'll get better and better and better. The more you do, the more you realize you can do. And the better you are, the better you realize that you can become. You gotta stop waiting for your circumstance to change. And you gotta change the circumstance. You gotta stop saying that something's gonna happen, that, that something's gonna change, that something miraculously is gonna take place in my life that's gonna put me where I wanna be is not gonna happen. But every day you wake up, every day you get up, you got an opportunity. Every day you wake up, your fortune teller is you. At the end of that lottery, ticket is you. Yep, you can be a millionaire. I don't know what you want to be or what you want to do, but I'm telling you, you can do it, but you got to understand that the person that's going to help you is the person that's the end of your arms, your hand. It's you. You have what it takes mentally. You have what it takes physically. You got the heart. You got everything it takes to make it happen. People say, it seems like you're stronger now. You're more committed now. It seems like your drive is higher now. We're happy. I'm wired differently. Every opportunity is the last opportunity. Every opportunity, I have to reprove myself again. Because the day you become content is the day you die. You have to make a decision that nobody in your position will outwork you. A part of being a beast just ain't eating a gazelle. A part of being a beast is to hunt. Because real lions like to hunt. They love the process just as much as they love the pride. And some of y'all just want to score. You don't like the process. It is the process of the grind that shapes you and forms you. It's not the game. You think grind is what happens when the lights come on, when the sun comes out. That's not grind. The real grind is in the dark when nobody sees you, when nobody knows what you're doing, when you're putting in those extra reps. It's the process that makes you sweet. There are those of you with phones, and every new phone that comes out, you get it. Every piece of software, you get it. You are upgrading your technology, and you've not upgraded yourself. You don't think any different, you don't speak any different, you're the exact same person you were in 2010. I challenge you, be obsessed with improvement and go from a gazelle to a lion. Why? Because if you don't kill it, then your family won't eat. This is your year. This is your time. This is your moment. What are you going to do with it? Are you going to capture it? Or are you going to let it slip away? Eminem said it, if you had one shot, one opportunity to seize everything you've ever wanted, would you capture it or would you let it slip away? And so I ask you the question, how bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? Do you want it as bad as you want to breathe or do you just kind of want it? What's the single most important key to success above anything else? It's not talent, it's not skill, it's hunger. The common backstory for the successful people is hunger. Intelligence is not it. There are people less intelligence, less skill, less ability to perform at a higher level because they never lose their hunger. How do you create your life? You get hungry for something, don't you? If you get enough hunger going in you for an answer, you'll find the answer. If you get a hunger up inside of you that says, I gotta take things to a next level, I gotta achieve, I gotta make a difference, I gotta expand, you will find the answer. People's intelligence will expand if they got enough hunger. But if you got everything and you're not hungry, you're not gonna have much. Anybody can do anything and set their mind to. But it depends on how bad you want it. And if you want it as bad as you want to breathe, nobody can stop you. Personal power means the ability to take action, to follow through, to take the steps that are necessary to take an idea and translate it into reality. And it's the number one tool that most people in life never exercise and the gift that every one of us has right now and at any moment in our life. You could start using your power. You could start following through. You could take this idea in your head and turn it into physical reality. Whether that idea is how you want to make your relationship or the kind of money you want to make or a business you want to start, it doesn't matter. It is available right now. All you do is decide and then follow through. See, Michael Jackson can move the way he does because every single day, the question he asks himself is how can I make this better? Where focus goes, energy flows. What are you gonna focus on? Because whatever you focus on, you feel and you move towards. It's your decisions that are controlling your destiny. So the first decision you make every moment is what are you gonna focus on? You wanna change your life? Make a new choice. You wanna change your income? You can go to a million classes and making more money. Until you make a shift into what is a must for you, you won't. When you do, you'll find the way. Concentration of power says this. If you focus on something every single day, and you ask yourself, how can I improve it? 
and you demand from yourself that somehow it has to get better, you will master that area of focus. I don't care what it is. And if you don't have what you want, stop telling yourself the story because you don't have the money, you don't have the time, that's bullshit. It's because you haven't committed yourself where you would burn your boats. If you want to take the fucking island, burn your fucking boats and you will take the island because people, when they're going to either die or succeed, tend to succeed. The power to hold on in spite of everything, the power to endure, the hunger, the ability to face defeat again and again without giving up. When you're hungry, you don't care about the facts. You don't care about the odds. This is a winner's quality. You have that quality within you. The people that are running at their dreams are the people that are hungry, that know if it's going to happen, it's up to them. They know they're going to have hard times. They keep on running because they're saying within themselves, I'm the one, no matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. Commitment. It means taking a stand, taking a stand for you. Commit means to carry into action deliberately. Commit means to make it happen no matter what. See, when you make a commitment, I'm going to become wealthy. When you make it important, when you decide I'm going to do it no matter what, life changes for you. See, most people don't keep their commitments to their commitments. That's why they lead lives of misery, lives of unhappiness. Whatever commitment that you make, keep your commitment to your commitment. No matter what, if it's hard, then do it hard. We say, oh, it's too hard, it's too hard. We don't challenge our spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, there's nothing as powerful as the human spirit. You can't destroy it. You can pervert it, but you can't destroy it. The universe responds to the man or woman that refuses to be denied. That business that you want, that book you want to write, that dream that you have of controlling your destiny, that is yours. But you've got to be willing to stand there and face disappointment, not have support, be lonely, doubt yourself sometimes. Be rejected again and again and again and refuse to turn around until life gives it up. If you just decide, I'm going to keep my word. If I say something, I'm going to do it regardless. Being more disciplined, more focused. Don't look for any gains where there's been no sacrifice. Don't look for your game to improve. Don't look for the record to improve. Without sacrifice, there are no gains. Only those who are willing to risk going too far can possibly find out how far one can go. Look, you got to want it as bad as you want to breathe. And when you want it as bad as you want to breathe, says, I'm willing to make any sacrifice. I'm willing to go through any pain. I'm willing to go through any suffering. I'm willing to go through whatever it takes. So when I get in there, then I guarantee you, at the end of it, I won't be the one that surrendered. When you want something bad, you can't count the cost. Because if you count the cost and you see how much it costs, you might quit. You might give up. So you got to go in knowing that I don't count the cost. I do as many push-ups as it takes, as many reps as it takes. I study as long as it takes. I pay whatever the price is. Why? Because if I start counting the cost, I might quit. I might give up. I might surrender. Don't count the cost. You just do whatever it takes to get whatever you want. In those times when you want to quit, you make sure you remember one thing. All those times and hours and days, you sacrifice to be the best. You will never regret making a sacrifice, ever. Download this video and audio by becoming a member at BenLionelScott.com. Plus, get early access to all new content and hundreds of exclusive videos.